Mercedes might not have come to the Carrera had it not been for you. They definitely wouldn't. Neubauer told me that there was no chance that they could come to the Panamericana. It was too soon following this. They didn't have time to prepare. They didn't have the money. They didn't have the um, wish, <laughs> the desire to go at that point. But I'm a stubborn fellow, and um, I shortly after I moved back to the States with my family, and I immediately sent to him uh, data on rainfall, elevation changes, um, road building characteristics of that area, even road materials, because that affects the tire wear and so on. So I sent him a lot of information. Uh, he gave me, thanked me, and he gave me no encouragement, but I kept sending it. <laughs> and finally, I was at a race in California, and I got a, a wire that asked me if I could meet him in Mexico City on a certain day and join him for the Panamericana. Do you think you ever could have ridden as a passenger in the Mila Amelia or in the Carrera Panamericana? Oh, I, I, <laughs> I can't contemplate it. It was too awful. <laughs> it was too awful. You know, because... Uh, a driver is always an optimist, and a passenger is always a pessimist. <laughs> That's what makes the difference. <laughs> That's a great quote. <laughs> yeah, that's a good quote, isn't it?